Here you can see this Siemens IoT 2000. This is a 2014 in fact. And you can see here this this is the Ethernet port which is currently the a connection to internet for this device that in fact maybe you know this is just a uh, Intel Galileo um, board in fact and uh, here inside you can see I have just an LED uh, that is uh, running some one uh, blink of this LED program is running inside here just to test and be sure that this the that this device is working properly here is just the power supply 24 volts and you can see that is connected here and we are running the the device is running properly so what i will do is in this um, in this video I will use this device as an OPC uh, UA client in fact so this will be my client okay to read the values that I will publish in my OPC server that will be running in a uh, PLC code 6 PLC soft PLC okay so this is to show you the hardware that uh, uh, I am connecting in this case okay so now imagine that you have this problem you have a PLC in my case I, I have a, a soft PLC that is running codices here and you want to display a set of variables that is uh, you are having in this PLC on a, on a dashboard for example okay on internet so in this case we, we are I am using this solution that uh, PLC uh, courses is able to run this OPC UA server and that that uh, you, you, you know that uh, using this OPC UA, it is possible to display a very um, sophisticated set of uh, variables, in fact. Okay, you can display many variables and arrays and uh, many types of different variables in different types. And uh, so I will collect these OPC uh, values by using this IoT 2040 uh, and Siemens that I just have shown you now. So, uh, once I have this, I will display uh, the values that I am uh, having in this uh, IoT Siemens on the, this dashboard. Okay, so let me show you now. Maybe before doing that, I have to show you this Okay, I want to show you this. This is the program that is running in my uh, soft PLC codices. It's just uh, a program that is increasing the value of this counter uh, between 1 and 30. Uh, once you have 30, it goes back to 1. So it's just to uh, show something that is changing the value, okay? And most important, I have enabled this configuration of symbols. Okay, so these variables here, I am displaying and making available for my OPC UA. In this case, I will be only reading this counter, which is here. This is an integer value. Okay, so the next thing that I want to show you is this. Here, this is Unify Automation 
QA ex expert. It's just a uh, OPC client that I can use to read and be sure that the um, OPC servers are running and that you can read the variables. So this is just to show you that I, I am running two servers here. The first one is my codices uh, server. And this Node-RED, it's a server that is running the inside my IoT uh, Siemens. Okay. This is, I, I am doing this just to, sh to be able uh, to check that the communication is uh, between my laptop and the uh, IoT Siemens is uh, working properly. So my, my network is, is working. Okay, so next step, I want to show you this now. Okay, so now this is the real uh, program that I am reading. So in Node-RED, what I am doing now is I am taking this address, this counter, okay? I copy, uh, I have copied the, the um, address of this counter using this, uh, the client that uh, I showed you just now. So you, you have, you need this address here and this counter. So in that case, you, you need to put this in this variable here, in this node, and then you read. You simply, you read this value by using this configuration here. Here you have to put in the endpoint. This is the um, IP address of uh, my uh, laptop that in fact is running this uh, OPC server. Okay. Okay, that's it. So once you display this, you can see that I, I am show, I am sending all these values to uh, this okay debug uh, screen. So you can see that in fact the values are being uh, okay are uh, okay. I am reading. I am able to read the values that they are coming from my PLC and then okay so this this part here is just because I want to read some values from the uh, other server that is running in my um, IoT Siemens so that uh, as I told you uh, it's just to check that, uh, that my uh, communication is okay okay so I can show you here this is IoT OPC UA demo in this demo here, so you can run this and then by using these nodes here, you can check that the uh, uh, IoT gateway is uh, working properly. Okay, so you can see now that I am sending the value of this counter to this uh, dashboard. And uh, so just to show you that uh, in a very simple way, I am display i am able to display the values that uh, i have in my uh, plc uh, on any uh, browser and uh, uh, using this opc protocol that is perhaps uh, you may know it's a uh, very uh, sophisticated and uh, i can do it in a very uh, you know uh, i by using this protocol i can take into account many, all the levels of complexity of my information model and uh, even the security aspects are covered. Okay, see you in the next video.